Hey guys, um, today we're going to look at something called exponential growth and decay. Um, and in particular, we're going to be calculating um, the different models of exponential growth and decay using a specific formula um, throughout word problems, not using graphs or tables. This is now all embedded in word problems. So what I'm going to ask you to do is just make sure you skip over to the do, from the, the do now, flip over to the next page, and we're going to be working in packet nine. You need a calculator and a pen. If you don't have the packet, please print it off the Google Classroom. Remember to pause the video at any point to take notes or to do something, but continue watching it until it's over. Okay, so now on page two, let's just look at the general formula. It's A equals P times one plus or minus R to the T power. Now that plus or minus sign is kind of a truncated way to combine two uh, formulas into one. We use the plus sign or the addition and sign if a problem deals with something growing or getting bigger or increasing. And we'll use the subtraction sign if the problem deals with something decaying, decreasing, or losing value. So those are the keywords that you're going to have to look into to see which formula we're going to use. Now we're just going to look at the growth formula. So in the growth formula, the A stands for the growth value. I sometimes think of it as the answer or the total. Um, the P is your starting amount. It's usually symbolizes principal, or I was thinking maybe you could think of price or population. Um, it's usually the starting amount or the number in the problem. The R is your rate, which is your percent, but we always put it as a decimal. And your T is your, your years in a lapse. Sometimes it, it does um, fluctuate, but generally speaking, it's time and years. Okay, so let's go down and figure out and put down different keywords that are associated with growth, that when you're looking at a word problem, you'll know we're using the formula with the addition sign. Interest, increase, appreciate, grows, doubles, these are all words that when you see that, you know you're going to be using this specific formula. Let's go down to the first example. I'm going to guide you through it, and then you're going to do some on your own. So pause the video and make sure you have all the notes down. Okay, so example one. A bank is advertising a rate of 5% interest compounded annually. If $2,000 is invested in the account at that rate, find the amount of money in the account after 10 years. So your first thing you want to do is underline the key information. Interest no is the keyword to know that we're going to be using the addition um, formula. 5% is needed, the 2,000 and the 10 years. Next thing, you write your formula down. Next, you're going to label all the pieces that you're going to need to plug into the formula, and then you're going to write them down on the side so you have that information to put in. So once I replace all the variables in the formula with the values that are there, I add those two together. Um, the only reason why I do that is because I want you guys to be conscious that this is above one and anything when the base is above one is considered growth. We're going to be getting into something tomorrow that really hones in on that particular base. So I want you to be conscious of that step. So um, add the one plus 0 0.05, you get 1.05. Now you plug 2000 times 1.05 to the 10th power in your calculator. To get the 10 as an exponent, you have to use the caret button in the calculator. And you should get that long decimal. Now, since we're dealing with money, you need to round to the nearest cent. So your final answer would be $3,257.59. Okay, pause the video and make sure you have all those notes down. Then turn the page over and complete the try these. I'm going to put the answer key also up in the Google Classroom, so make sure you have those answers right, but try them on your own so you could do the independent work later on your own. Now flip it over to the next page. We're going to, page, we're going to look at the decay formula. The decay formula is the one with the subtraction sign. Each variable means the same thing. So um, we'll just look at the specific words that are associated with decay. Either if you see the word decay, decrease, depreciate, they all start with D, so just know that. Um, oh gosh, not growing. De growing should have been deleted, my bad. Um, half light and half. So please don't copy down growing. Make sure you skip over that. Pause the video and make sure you have all the notes down. 
Okay, so let's look at example one. The population of a town is decreasing at a rate of 2.5% per year. If the population in the year 2000 was 28,000, what is the expected population in 2015? If the rate of decrease continues, round your answer to the nearest tenth. So once again, you're going to underline the key information. The fact that it's decreased means we're going to be using the subtraction model. Um, they don't give us a time in years, but they do give us an elapse in time. So you have to be careful when you see something like that. We have our 28,000 is our um, P. We have an elapse in time, the 2000 to the 2015, and your 2.5%. Make sure you copy down your formula. Write the key information on the right-hand side. So we're going to fill out P is 28,000. Our rate, 2.5%, changed to a decimal, is 0 0.025. And the elapse in time would be 15. So our time would be 15 years. So plug all those pieces into the necessary spots of the formula. Now again, inside the parentheses, I want you to subtract it because I want you to take note that it's under one. So that number that's below one, it means it's going to be decay. So just have that in there. Plug that into your calculator, 28,000 times 0 0.95, 975 to the 15th power. Remember to use your carrot button on the calculator. And you should get that long number. But they said to round to the nearest tenth. So we need to bump that 5 up to a 6 because of the 7 next to it. So we get 19,152.6 um, would be the population. Okay? So I want you to pause the video again. Um, rewind it if you need to to take down the notes. Turn the page over and complete the try these and check these answers with the answers um, on that answer key in the Google Classroom. After you're done with these try these, I want you to complete the quizzes that's on the Google Classroom. That will be your, your homework slash classwork for the day. Okay, guys, good luck. And if you have any questions, email me.